Leading off with the exciting third annual Guam International Film Festival. It's an event that's quickly approaching. And joining me now with more, our executive director and co-founder, Don Munya, and media manager, Rizel Amparo. Hafadei to you both, and thanks for joining me. Hi, thank you. Thank thanks you. for having us. Okay, probably a little bit well-deserved break for the both of you after the <laughs> frenetic pace you've been operating at. Oh, uh, yeah, just a bit. I mean, we've had countless amounts of submissions from, you know, all over the world, and it's, it's a bit of a task, man, mm -hmm. you know, to manage all of that stuff. How inundated are you, you know, like when, when you announce to basically, you know, because of social networks and because of the way that the global economy has been shrunk with the Internet, like when you put out the word to your colleagues in, in the filmmaking industry that you actually have a film festival, how many submissions do you get? Uh, well, we've been growing ever since year one, so year one was like 200 some, uh, and now we're close to 400 on year three. Wow. Yeah. And you've had to obviously categorize it so you can kind of like, you know, hopefully like organize it and set everything yep, up. And yep. And, uh, you know, co-founder Kel, my brother, he's, uh, he's our program director, so he gets to handle all that fun stuff, you know. <laughs> you know, categorizing the films um, based on genre, um, based on demographic and stuff like that. Now, is there a certain theme result to this year's uh, film festival or like are there similarities or maybe parallels between the submissions? Actually, yes. This year we're offering or we're going to have our very first theme for the festival and it's called Beyond the Sea. And basically what it means is that everything is not what you see. You have to re read between the fine lines of the film and the story and see the, uh, the kind of inner workings and these messages that are being shown. So, so it's those kind of films where it's not really obvious almost. Yes. Like, I, I yep. dare I say very Michael Moorish. <laughs> <laughs> where you know it's yeah. films. Indie yeah. Films. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. The yeah. indie approach and everything. So you look yeah. at it and then you know, five minutes after you walk out from it, it's like, oh, that was pretty good. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I know what the guy was trying to get at. Basically. Okay, so that's very cool. So th there was that obvious like yeah. slant towards that. So, yeah. um, what kind of films can people expect to see? Because I know like the, the website's fantastic, by the way, and Thank we'll you. talk about the app because I want to get into the app. <laughs> awesome. Uh, but let's talk about exactly what some of the films are and what topics they deal with. Um, well, some of the films we have are our centerpiece film is The Illness and the Odyssey, and that's about the the disease called lithogobotic, and mm. it's a neurodegenerative disease that occurs here on island that occurs within the Chamorro people that they haven't found out the cause of this disease um, so it takes uh, it tells about the over the past couple like decades of them trying to figure out what has been causing this disease on this island um, another one is our our closing night film there, that's breakaway and it tells about the story of this um, this man in poverty, this impoverished man who loses his son uh, uh, at a penny mall during um, the day before his birthday, and he basically, and when the police can't find his son, he sets out to human trafficking in Manila. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's a lot of regional relevance, and I mean, like you know, with the political boating piece. Um, it's done in a way that's going to deeply affect those of us who, who live and grow up here. But you know, for the most part, it's just some really well done, very compelling, even very disturbing you know, films and everything. And that's what a film film festival should be. I mean, you're not mm -hmm. expected to just sit there and be entertained. You mm -hmm. actually like with a, with a proper film festival, you actually leave it yeah. feeling transformed. Yeah, yeah, we you know we take uh, we take a lot of time and conscious effort to program these films specifically you know for for our communities here on Guam. You know, being able to have high relatability within our communities and you know that's something that um, not many theaters or you know many uh, many yeah theaters can can do and showcase because you know they're they're basically um, focused on bestsellers and blockbusters and you know it's fun it, it sure is but you know there's also some joy into going into a theater and watching something intellectually you know uh, Beneficial, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. You know? laughs> to put it lightly, yeah, yeah. yeah and it, so, some of the best films you'll ever watch are like off the beaten path, or you know, they just have something poignant to say, just in a very, very unorthodox way. Yes, indeed. So, so I agree with you completely. Okay, let's talk about the app now because mm -hmm. it's it's a wonderful thing. And like, oh, where's my phone? Yeah, break, oh, yeah. break it down. <laughs> what features uh, does it feature? Does it feature um, that are going to make people want to? run to their favorite app store or repository and just download this and then use it as part of the experience. Well, the biggest benefit is that you save $2.50 by downloading our free app. So it's free um, as long as you have a smartphone, you know, a mobile device that uh, can download the app. So it's either Android or iPhone. Um, that's one of the biggest benefits. The others is just being able to 
because we're operating a week long, um, you're able to schedule and create your own itinerary um, easily just by highlighting uh, certain, you know, the, the films. And it's listed alphabetically, it's listed uh, through time. Um, you get to watch the, the trailers, see screen grabs, see the synopsis, and buy your ticket. So it's pretty much like a mobile box office. Outstanding. And this is Android and iOS, right? Correct. Oh, OK. OK, so uh, final plug before we go to commercial. Uh, when and where? Because now that everybody's literally salivating all of mm. themselves, when you see some really good films. Uh, Again, Shopping Center uh, at the Again Center Stadium Theaters, September 24th, Tuesday uh, to September 29th on Sunday. And if anybody out there has never been to the movies on Tuesday, it itself is a life transforming experience. We do that all the time here. <laughs> okay, so Donna Mattel, thanks so much for your time and congratulations. It's a very, very wonderful thing you're doing for the community. Thank you. We're glad Appreciate to have you. that. All right, and stay tuned because we will be back. More extra returns right after this.